In today's video, we're going to be replacing the wheels on a Honda HRR216 lawnmower. So let's get started. Tools required are going to be some kind of grease or grease gun, some kind of lubricant like WD-40. I have Loctite, a wrench, needle nose pliers, and a screwdriver. As you can see, the rear tires on Hondas wear out pretty fast. The front ones usually aren't that bad. It's always the rear ones that you have to replace first. For safety, I'm going to shut off the fuel shutoff valve and disconnect the spark plug, which is in the front of the mower. And the next thing you want to do is you want to turn over your lawnmower on the side. Now that your fuel is shut off, we're going to turn it over. We're going to have the air filter up uh, so we can work on it. I'm going to take a, a 12 millimeter uh, wrench and take out the bolt for the front wheel. We're going to work on the front wheel first today. So once you have the bolt removed, you take off the wheel and uh, kind of clean up the debris a little bit. And here's the uh, new wheel. As you can see, it's nice and clean with the part number. There's the part number if you want to look it up. It is a Honda original part. I always uh, clean the uh, bolt off a little bit and put a little Loctite on it before I put it back on. The front wheels are really easy to do. It doesn't take very much time at all. So uh, just kind of hand tighten it. Take your uh, wrench and tighten them up as tight as you can. Get that bolt pretty snug and tight. So let's go to the uh, rear left tire. Like I said, the rear ones wear out the fastest. You can see it's more worn out. So we're going to use a 12 millimeter wrench and we're going to take that bolt out. If you're going to just change the tire out, all we have to do is take this out. When you take it off, take it off carefully and you can put the new one on by just replacing the bolt. Every time I do this, I like to uh, clean out the insides of it. Uh, the reason why I like to clean out the plastic part underneath, as you can see, as I'm getting ready to take this tire off, you take it off carefully. I like to clean, clean out the inside because it gets really corroded inside. There's two washers in there. One's a flat washer and one's a curvy washer. Uh, make sure you keep those together and move that. Uh, now there's like a locking washer right there on top. This is the hardest part of the job. Uh, so you just need to take a screwdriver, a flat, flat edge. You need to put it in there and just kind of work it out carefully. Uh, put the screwdriver in the flathead first and then just kind of twist and it comes out so there's the uh, metal gear drive in there we got to clean that so i'm spraying lube on all this stuff right now wd-40 and making sure it gets nice and clean so take off the plastic part once again i kind of take off the debris and spray that uh, uh, transmission shaft right there with a little bit of lube again so we can get nice and cleaned and there is a little key in there i think that's what i'm doing right now is removing that key uh, that has to be put back in there. So we're just going to spray a little lube on that. And I, this is just extra steps. This is not required. There's another washer that goes on there. Um, now I'm going to wipe it down probably with a towel. And uh, what I always do after I clean it up and wipe it down with a towel, I put a little grease on it. And this is just extra steps because it gets really, as you can tell, it got really dirty in there. And I just don't want any corrosion in there. And that's when lawnmowers start running a little slower is when it gets all built up with gunk and corrosion. So this is just an extra step. If you don't want to clean the lawnmower underneath, you don't have to. You can simply just take out the bolt, put the bolt back into the wheel and just put the wheel, re-secure the wheel in there. This is just an extra step. Uh, so now I'm just putting a little grease on there. Like I said, it'll help uh, lubricate a little better and helps the, uh, the transmission work a little easier. Uh, there is a washer, putting the washer back on right there, slides right back on. Next thing you know, I'm putting the key. The key is going in and uh, there's your plastic piece that goes on from there. And now I'm going to get the metal, uh, metal, uh, drive gear right there you just kind of turn it until it falls into place and the washer goes on top now it's the hardest part right now is i got to put that locking washer back on this is where everyone has problems i just kind of set it in there until the, there's a little groove you just set it in the groove and kind of work it around and then once you uh, uh get it in there you just take a screwdriver and you just push it in there this is where everyone has problems. Don't forget your washer. The flat one goes on the bottom and the curvy one goes on top. And then here's your new wheel. You can see the metal gears in there. Um, and there's the Honda part number with the original Honda equipment. Uh, I do put a little grease onto the gears to make sure, once again, it's nice and lubricated. And there's no, it gets rid of some of the corrosion and uh, uh, any kind of friction that it might cause. So re-grease your bolt up. Put a little Loctite on your bolt, just like what we did with the front. And uh, grab your wheel. Take your wheel and just kind of turn it once it's in place. You kind of turn a little bit so the gears align with each other. And then you just put your bolt in. Like I said, put a little Loctite on it. Start it by hand and get your 12 millimeter wrench and you resecure it. And you get it as tight as you can.
All right, so the left side of the lawnmower is done. As you can see, they look nice and shiny and bright. Uh, just rolling it back and forth, getting the grease uh, lubricated on it, turning the mower over to the other side. This is where you can get in a little bit of trouble because you do have, if you don't have the fuel shut off valve off, the fuel will leak out through the carburetor, so you want to make sure you shut off your fuel. So we're just loosening up uh, the bolt again on that uh, front right side, unscrewing the bolt. Uh, we're going to remove uh, the wheel and... Uh, once the wheel is removed, we're going to clean the bolt with some lube, some kind of WD-40 or any kind of cleaner. Uh, wipe it clean. There's the tire again. There's the part number. And once again, this is Honda original equipment, but we're going to clean the bolt off, wipe it down with a rag. We're going to put some grease on the bolt, and then we're going to put some Loctite, Loctite onto the threads. All right, so now we're going to resecure the wheel onto the mower. We're going to hand tighten the bolt and then get it as tight as we can with our wrench. Now we're going to move on to the right rear tire there. So once again, same process as before. Maybe you can get a better view. View. I'm simply just going to remove the bolt, take the tire off. When you take the wheel off, make sure you take it off very carefully because there are other parts in there. And like I said before, if you're just going to replace the wheel and that's it, you just simply put a bolt in and you just simply uh, uh, put the new wheel on. But I like to clean. I'm going to take the washers off there and you can see how corroded and dirty that drive gets. Uh, put a flathead screwdriver on that locking washer again, put it right underneath there and just kind of turn your screwdriver. It'll pop off. And there's the uh, metal uh, drive uh, gear right there. And right now I'm just going to uh, spray some WD-40 or some kind of cleaner on all these parts and get them all nice and cleaned. There is another washer I'm going to take off. And then the black plastic piece uh, comes off. I took the key out as well. There's a little key that goes in there. And I'm just going to take a towel and we're going to clean off that uh, transmission shaft right there. We're just going to clean it. Spray a little bit more lube and clean it again. For some reason on this mower, the right side was really dirty. Usually it's the left side I see it gets caked up more, but for some reason the right side. So right now I'm just putting a little grease on that uh, uh, transmission shaft right there. I'm reinstalling the, uh, the washer and the key. Putting the black plastic uh, wheel guard cover there. And when you put the cover on there, make sure it aligns with that uh, hole where the bolt goes. There's two holes there. So one goes around where the shaft is, and the other one gets secured in. So I put the key in. Now we're going to get the, uh, the uh, gear. We're just going to turn it until it falls into place. Then you put your washer on. And then here we go again, trying to put on uh, that stubborn locking washer on there. There might be a tool that helps you get these on and off. I don't know if there is or not. I've always just used a screwdriver. Some are harder than others. Uh, when you put it on, once, once, like I said, just put it in the groove and kind of work it in the groove with a screwdriver, and eventually uh, you'll get it in there. Uh, some are harder than others. Uh, this one right here gave me a little bit of trouble, as you can see. It took me a little bit to get it on. Uh, you just got to kind of get it started and push it down with a flathead screwdriver. That's the best way. Uh, maybe someone can put in the comments below if there's a special tool to get these uh, locking uh, uh, washers off or not. Uh, trying to use a little some pliers to kind of spread it out uh, to get it into that groove. And then once you do get it in that groove, make sure you do take a flathead screwdriver and make sure it is completely seated into that groove. Flat washer goes back on top. Curvy washer goes on top of that. Just cleaning that curvy washer again, make sure it's clean. Getting the gloves out, and now we're going to grease up everything all over again. So getting my grease gun out. And I'm just going to repeat the same process I did for the uh, left rear wheel there. So I'm just putting a little grease on that metal uh, uh, drive gear right there. And then I'm going to take... Uh, some uh, lube again and kind of clean that uh, bolt off put some grease around where the wheel spins around there right on that shaft just takes a little bit of grease just a thin layer of grease right there there's my loctite i'm going to put that around the threads of the bolt And 
And now we're going to re-secure the wheel onto that uh, uh, that black plastic part. It just kind of sets on there, and then you just give it a little turn so that the gears match up with each other. It'll fall into place. You'll know when it's on. Once it's on, you put the bolt in, and uh, you start tightening your bolt. And that's all there is to it. It's really not that uh, detailed of a process. Uh, the first time you do it, it's a learning experience. Uh, this, this mower right here is approximately uh, four or five years old. I think it's five years old, if I remember right. This is about my second or third set. Uh, I think it's my third set I put on uh, this lawnmower. I've done this probably four or five times. I've been running these type of lawnmowers for about 10 years, and uh, all these tires on these things wear out. So this is the picture of what the uh, finished product looks like with the nice new shiny wheels. You can see how much tread is left on them. It's not a hard process. I think the process took me about 20 minutes. There's what the old tires look like compared to the new tires. And that's how you change the wheels on your Honda lawnmower.